welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today we'll be talking about dynamic lock screen. What exactly this does is you're able to select an image set to change the image on your lock screen each time you turn on the screen. So through here, you can see these five different categories. Right now it's selected as food. Let's say that we head over here into art. Let me first show you what it will do, then I'll show you how you're able to turn this on. So what'll happen is let's say that we go into the lock screen, you're gonna see this image here. And let's say that we go one more time to another time where your screen would turn on. Uh, let's turn this off, turn it back on. You can see that every single image is a new image inside of that set. Now, the other cool thing you're able to do is you can cycle through and just check out images, check out the art that comes along with this by swiping left. Now, you're not getting you know, out of that whole lock screen because if you're trying to get into your phone, you're still gonna have to go through your biometrics, the pin, anything else like that. So how you're able to turn this on is you wanna pull down the notifications panel, click on the settings icon and go down to lock screen since this is dealing and altering the lock screen image. Then you wanna go inside of wallpaper services. Now, if your Samsung phone does not show wallpaper services, it could be because this is a part of the latest update, uh, which is Android 10 running the Samsung One UI 2.0. So if you don't see this yet, then hopefully your phone will get that update and you'll also see it. Now you can have it as none, and that just means that it's not using the service and it's using your regular image that you have set up. Now, right here, this is where you wanna choose dynamic lock screen. If you have your set as none, this is just using your normal image that you have set up uh, but once you choose dynamic lock settings choose on that little settings wheel then inside of here you can select your categories but you also have these two options here so you might as well turn on the auto update and you can also download these via your mobile data if you want kind of depends if you want to use your own data when you download these little sets of images so as of now, I have art and food. Now the other three still has that little download arrow, which means that they have not been downloaded yet. So if you wanna check out, let's say the pets, once you choose that option, it's going to download it, then it's gonna select it. You can only select one at a time and all of these sets of images uh, update every two weeks, which is why it's asking you if you wanna do this one through mobile data or not. Now, once you select yours, you'd be able to head right on back and let's say that we wanna check out some of the different pet images. So that means every time that you go to your phone and you want to unlock your phone it's going to show a new image uh, and so let's just scroll through some of these images here so you can just kind of check out some of these just to check it out if you're bored and you want to look at some animals you're able to do that but again uh, the only way to get out of this is if you are to put in your credentials but i hope that you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side and if you liked this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later I got tension, soul, I'm my true collective ball Famous, also famous, number one, desirable I do what I want, when I want, and how I want it Leave you with the one in the air